SoapCentral.com presents the 49th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From the Pasadena Civic Center in Pasadena, California, it's your host, Dan Kroll. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm at the Emmys. I mean... I'm great. I'm great. You know, we're, we're in person, we're live. Last year, it was not the case, so... Year before. I'm, you're right, right. So I'm, I'm going to bask in it. Yeah. So, you, I mean, you're like, we're at the Emmys. Did you ever think, let's go back, say, five years, ten years, did you ever right. think you would be saying, I'm at the Emmys? I prayed for it. I worked for it. I I believed it because I, I was putting forth the action and, and, and what it would take in my mind at that time to be here. So it's a surreal experience, but I I had it on my vision board and I and I tried. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Now yes. that you're here, you get questions like these in 30 seconds or less everything right. that's happened to your character since the last red carpet Boom. which should be 2019 but oh. we can even do the last year everything that's happened in the it's last lot. year let's go it's been a lot um, yes so <laughs> I am now a doctor who's trying to figure out uh, where he wants to specialize um, I lost my first patient that was uh, catastrophically challenging mm -hmm. for him because uh, losing your first patient you're, you have to realign with with what you know are your core values and what led you to becoming a doctor and and if if this is are you doing it you're practicing it the correct way are you doing your best job in, 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 in times where you can't provide medical expertise because you've not failed but they died you know uh, exploring the humanity of, of TJ has been very cool a completely random thing is yes. uh, moons ago uh, I was going to be a doctor. I am not wow. a doctor. However, people still call me for medical advice. They're like, you know, okay. ooh, I chopped off my finger. What should I do? Should I'm I do? like, go to the hospital. Uh, have you ever had anybody who, we don't want to say doesn't understand the reality of it, but have you ever had anyone who's maybe blurred the lines and just said, hey, um, you're a doctor, shouldn't you know what to do? I got this rash. You know, like, has anybody said anything strange? Like, uh, has it ever happened to you? You know, uh, normally it's in a normally it's in a, in a, a roast or a joking manner. Okay. Like, hey, why don't you ask the uh, the doctor over there? He'll okay. tell you what to do. Um, but sometimes, because we do have to do like some research to understand what we're what we're talking about, I've had to learn um, things. Very general, but things. And if it relates to that thing, I might get a question here or there. Okay. You know, might. Am I qualified? No. I'm not either, but no. it doesn't stop me from like. Right. You know, I, I think you should, you know, ibuprofen and um, <laughs> I mean, that's some green tea. Like, I'm, I'm going with like homeopathic yeah, no. <laughs> things combined. Aloe, but, right. aloe has got to be right. good for it. Oh, man. Rub that on the elbow, that'll fix whatever It'll rash you're going through. Cause everything. Yeah. Uh, I want to give you a chance because, you know, uh, outside of the joke of, you know, anybody asking and things like that, we have sort of been kind of disconnected in the sense that we haven't been able to do these in-person things. Yeah. And there's been that, like, the two years of sort of uh, trying to figure things out. Do you have anyone that you'd like to give a message to? Or, uh, anything that you'd like to say to the fans? Anyone special in your life? The camera is yours. I'm holding on to the mic because people will walk off with it. But, yes. Uh, okay. yours. My baby sister, she's 24. Uh, she's not a baby. But she is legally blind. Um, she is gay. And she is differently able. She's a beautiful person. Um, I want to say that she is an incredibly hard worker. Uh, she inspires me, and my job seems light compared to what my sister and people like her are able to endure, overcome, and shed light on. So keep going, keep fighting. You are seen, you are not alone, you are loved. I am not going through your experience, but I understand what it means to support it and wake up and just know that you're loved. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's good talking to you. Thank you. Good seeing you.